Hey child and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another episode of Combos in the City. So a subscriber asked me one time if this was like your last time buying hair products, what would you say would be your favorite products that you would rock out with? But the thing is I couldn't really answer because I use different things for different reasons. So in this particular video and episode of Combos in the City, I'm going to show you some things that will give you like, you know, a pop and wash and go, but you ain't got to break the bank to do it. That was real dramatic. You don't have to break the bank to get some really nice hair. So I'll be honest with you, Chief. My favorite deep conditioner, $28. My favorite leave-in, $18. My favorite shampoo, $22. And not everybody wants to pay that just because I said it was good. So in this particular video, it's gonna be some products that's good, but like I said, under ten dollars and all of the ingredients are pretty good except for the styler but you know we'll talk about that later so if you want to see how i got this wash and go pretty good wash and go if i must say so myself honey and i ain't have to spend a whole bunch of money to get it keep on watching roll that beautiful pay for this hey child we're off so again i'm doing a wash and go routine everything is under ten dollars and it has pretty clean ingredients so with that being said since i'm doing a wash day let's hit the shower so first thing i'm going to do is wash my hair because duh so in this particular wash day i am using natural mother's tahitian gardenia flower and mango butter curl defining shampoo now what i will say is very cleansing but it's not quite stripping like my hair doesn't feel like hay when i use it i really do like it and it does smell good now i will say i have used the shampoo and the conditioner before the conditioner is cool but it's a lighter level of moisture so even if you don't like the conditioner the shampoo itself is good so like usual i scrub my scalp real good because i'm trying to grow my hair and i don't need no oils and butters and all the other crud and stuff that I put on my hair blocking my follicles so I go ahead and scrub that right on off work down the strands to remove any excess buildup and then I go on about my day and as you can see rubber dub bubbles everywhere because honey this lather is amazing after I go ahead and do my shampoo of course it's time to condition and so the conditioner that I am using is one of my old faithfuls and that is my boo texture ID the deep treatment mask I used to rock out with this completely like especially before I started doing content creation on a regular texture ID was pretty much all I used because everything was like around eight dollars and y'all know Sally's always running the four for twenty so I'll go ahead and stock up this is actually very moisturizing it is actually strengthening as well the only downfall to this mask is that it smells like when I say they went crazy with the perfume so that can be kind of like oh get out of my face with this but overall it is a good mask so I'm gonna tell you this Stop the watch that and listen to me closely. Product selection, yes, it's important. But what's more important than all of that is your technique. Honey, I could put a FHI flat iron on my hair and hold it in place for two minutes straight. If my hair end up damaged, it's not the flat iron fault, it's mine. So if I get on camera and say this flat iron damaged my hair, no stupid, it wasn't a flat iron, it was me. Same thing goes with these hair products. You can have the best product in the world, but if you mishandle it, you won't get the good results. So just if you, listen, if you think about doing any of this, follow the technique that I use, because if you use another technique, you might not like the results that you get. All right, so when it comes to this deep treatment mask, I apply it to soaking wet hair. I section my hair really good because that's what my stylist told me to get, do. She said that she noticed the places where I wasn't getting it enough in my crown and I had a little bit of breakage. So I do section my hair really good. I apply this to soaking wet hair. I put it on, I rake it through, I twist it up just to make sure it's there. And then with this particular product, I put a cap on and I did use heat for 10 minutes. I let my cuticles open up to receive this. So I do want you to know by itself, I mean, it's a cool product, but this bad boy, when I use heat, that's when it go up a notch. So that is what I use for this particular wash day. But before I get on out the shower, we got to stop the present, pay the bills and shout out to my big homies at Harry's for sponsoring today's video because y'all know with sponsorships, I get donations donations gifts i'm gonna 
been using them for about a year or so now, I think, or close to a year, and I haven't used anything else. Before I was using Harry's, I was using a dollar blade that just, honey, would nick me up and everything else. But since I switched to Harry's, I've had a more pleasurable shaving experience when I don't feel like being lazy and I go ahead and put it together. Now, if you are not familiar with Harry's, let me help you to the process. Here is my Harry's trial kit. This is a very doable razor. I love the heaviness of it. Go ahead and get me on together. I ain't got to worry about it flying and slipping out my hand because y'all know I'm reckless anyway. And I do want to say sometimes people think of Harry's and they think it's just a man's product line. But the reality is Harry's is for anybody that wants a good shave period and not only do you get a smooth comfortable shave you get it for an affordable price and that is something harry's prize their stuff of they don't have any pink tax or anything like that what i do like about harry's which is why i love partnering with them is they are not just give me the money give me the money they give some back and they do that by giving one percent of their global sales to causes that benefit veterans mental health needs and lgbtq plus youth in need so yeah i love the fact that although it is affordable the quality of it is top here, like seriously, these razors are amazing to me. Even my husband has used it. I love the fact that in addition to it being affordable, I think you can get the refills for like $2. You can get it with or without a subscription. And this cream, honey, I've been playing with this like it's whipped cream. I'm trying not to use it right now, but listen, I'm one of those childish people that just be turning anything into toys. Pray my strength in the Lord. So anyway, if you want to try out Harry's for yourself, you can get your trial kit on for a solid three whole dollars by clicking the link in my description box and going ahead and taking advantage of that offer so thank you harry's for supporting my content and putting up with my foolishness i don't know why y'all do what y'all do so i thank you for it so let's go ahead and get back to this wash day so after i have allowed my deep conditioner to sit under the dryer for about 10 minutes i hop right back on in the shower pause can i tell you how i sacrificed for youtube i sat in a wet swimsuit in the air conditioner for 10 minutes so if i end up coughing and sniffing in this stuff y'all break my strength in the lord but anyway after i go ahead and rinse it out after it has been luxuriating in my hair i go to a leave-in the leave-in i'm using is as i am classic leave-in conditioner it has coconut amla sugar beet root green seed lemon apple sugar cane honey got all the things bars so yeah i did use this now initially when i put it on it does feel good but y'all know how i am with leave-ins what i love to do and this is an optional step you don't have to do it but i find when i do this technique it honey everything go through the root honey top notch so i put the leave-in on i do it in sections to make sure every single strand gets soaked in it right and then well not soaked but kind of soaked but kind of not it gets saturated so once i put this leave-in and i bundle it up in the clips and everything i put the cap on for about five to ten minutes just to let it absorb even more deeply into my hair now of course this is not a deep treatment or anything like that but by allowing your hair to get that heat it does kind of open up the cuticle a little bit more it makes the slip and the softness of my hair go up even more so that my hair is more manageable when i do style it so this leave-in i like her so here is where things get real real tricky and i'm gonna show it to you right here all right, honey, so I am out of the shower and out of the wet bathing suit, so it is time to do the styling, and for that, I'm going to use the gel. Now, I'm gonna shoot it to you straight, honey. As far as finding a gel with really healthy ingredients, with really good results, for under $10, it, no. No, you're gonna have to invest. So, if you don't wanna make that investment, I would just say go with wet line. Wet line will get them curls popping, but this, to me, is like junk food, or like a trip to a fast food place. It's something that's an occasional treat, but it should not be your just 100% styler. Y'all know I used to use this every wash day, but I have pulled back and I just prefer healthier ingredients. But if you are on a budget, go ahead and grab this until you can get something else that you can afford. Go with me now. Um, I remember using this uh, over a year ago, and it's from Texture Ideas from the Curls Collection, and it's their smoothing gel. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this to see if I like it or not. I don't remember if I did. I just know I used it that one time and I didn't buy it again. So maybe that's a sign. I don't know. Anyway, go with wet line. I'm going to just try something else. So, girl, come off my head. Loose her. Alright, so I will just say if you want a softer hole and you want more volume, 
do this application on soaking wet hair but if you want a little bit more of a hole let your hair dry down just a little bit to the point where it is damp and then the gel can grip to your strands better all right all right so usually i am someone that does the raking method right but like i said in my weight loss update video there has been some changes in my hair associated with the surgery and so the raking method is not quite as efficient for me as it used to be so i have to do some shingling so let's try it so I'm gonna start off with this amount of gel. There we go. And then I'll just add more if I feel like I need it. So I'm gonna rub this on my hair. Uh, um, go with wet line. I'm telling you, go ahead and go with wet line. I'm just, I'm just trying something. But yeah, I know wet line to get the job done for you. So let me go ahead and apply it. I'm going to rake it in. Y'all know how my hair used to snap back when I would put gel on it, and now it's a looser texture. So it is better for me to kind of just shingle just a little bit to get these curls to do what I needed to do. Take some of the gel and rub it together and put it on this entire section. And I cannot stress this enough. Use wet line. As a matter of fact, baby, that's what I'm gonna use. I'm sorry, y'all, this, this gel ain't working for me at all. I don't like it at all. Baby, my baby daddy ain't never fit me yet. You understand me? So I'm gonna take me some good old wet line, right? Rub that together. Put this on my hair and rake it through. And then, after I've raked it, anywhere that it feels like I want to encourage it to look a little bit more defined, I'll just kind of coil it around my finger just a little bit, just to get some more definition. And that's something you could do at home too if you're not quite getting your curl to look how you want it to. Just coil it around your finger. So I'm going to do that to the remainder of my hair, which is just to rake in the gel and shingle as needed just as like a spot treatment for my hair, and then we'll go from there. Okay, so my hair is completely set, so what I'm gonna do is go ahead and get under the dryer. I find that my wash and goes pop so much more when I don't let them air dry. When I get under the dryer, it's like the gel hardens even more, so the definition is even better now that it's optional. If you choose to air dry, go right ahead. I just find that you get better results, or at least I do, once I sit under a hoodie dryer, so I'm gonna go do that now. Get some water because I'm tired. Stretch my arms because they hurt and I will return. Oh, and in total, it took me 16 minutes to shingle my hair. Now again, shingling is an optional step. If you do choose to do that and your hair is longer than mine, may the odds be ever in your favor. But for me, 16 minutes ain't bad at all. So let me go dry. Okay, so as you can see, my hair is actually completely dry. Honey, get into these curls. First of all, the movement. Do you understand me? The movement. Now, you could wear your hair exactly as it is once it completely dries and let the gel cast break on its own over the next few days. That actually stretches out your wear time. You get more days out of um, your hairstyle if you don't break the gel cast. But I ain't one of them, honey. I'm extra. I like volume. I like big hair. Call me Diana Ross Jr. So, I'm actually going to go get my pit and fluff this hair out how I like it to be, but I just want y'all to see, do you see this definition? Do you see it? So I'm gonna go ahead and stretch, pick, fluff, get some volume, and you'll see the final results in five, four, three, two. And my hair is now complete, but I'm sure you knew that by now. So let me turn around, let's see the bag, yes. So a complete wash day, nothing over $10. Everything has pretty cool ingredients except for the wet line, but you know, this is all like toxic baby daddy. You know it ain't the best, but you just can't let it go. So with that being said, this is a fun little wash day for me. If y'all have any questions, leave them down below. Shout out to Harry's for working with your girl, especially, listen, y'all know I'm kind of nuts anyway, and I'll be scaring some companies. So for Harry's to continue rocking with me, y'all the real MVP. So make sure y'all check them out in the link in the description box for your free trial kit. And yeah, if y'all got some questions, down below. Did I say that already? I think I did. I rambled on enough. Bye!